Hi guys, Princess Honeypot here. I'm not sure if you can hear me because I've got a mask on. It's my friend's mask. I've got this from B&M. Um, I'm in um, IKEA in Bletchley, so I will do a little bit of filming for you. And after I'm going to a really big Primark in Bletchley as well. So you'll get some footage. It's very pretty and festive, guys. Quite nice, cute, very festive. The beautiful Christmas tree here. Dinosaurs. I love the Diplodocus. T-Rex. <laughs> Don't know what these are. It's like Lego here. is 15 pounds it looks like that <laughs> this is all the wooden trains abacus we've got a giant lion he's quite cute 12 pounds and then we get a heart. I like him. Pretty tree. I like these pencils, guys. These lights. Pounds. And these ones kind of look like hidden wickies. <laughs> this is pretty. It's got like candy cane sides. Gamuchi. These are nice, guys. These pretty decorations.
I like the little trees. One with bells on. Little Christmas trees. She's quite cute. Some Christmas cookies. They are £2.50 and got my favourites. Yeah, I'll just tell him them about them. Dan is very popular here. He has the gorgeous meatballs. I love. <laughs> now we've got the cranberry sauce. More Vicky's. Old wine, pretty candles. Oh, this is the best thing about IKEA the meatballs with the gravy and the peas. And these guys have got mash, but I don't eat mash. So, yeah, and a tub of gravy and Diet Coke. So, yeah. So that is my lunch. Hi hey guys, just in IKEA cafe at the moment and I'll show you what I have. Unfortunately, I can't show you the menu because of the restrictions. Uh, only my dad could go and order, so. But I'll show you what I had to eat, so. See you all soon. Hi guys, in Primark, this is in Bletchley. It's a big Primark. So I'm gonna show you uh, some of the Disney range and the Christmas range in here, okay? Some Harry Potter stuff. Okay. Nice, nice key ring here. I've got the ears. It's pretty. No, that's not. It's too far from the mind. This is cute, mini thumper range. Six pound for this one, vanity case. I think this one's four pound. Yeah, so that's quite cute. And we've got a NASA bag and a Star Wars. That's very cute. It's one of them Disney pouches that I showed you the other day. Number two. Cute little NASA pouch. I had to put you down lower because I'm not supposed to film in here. So, <laughs> some honey pot bags, Gryffindor and Slippery. They are. Fourteen pound. Some mini trousers, Mickey and friends. Here's Mandalorian. And we've got a mini, new mini jumper. Ten pound. And there's a different. There's a Winnie the Pooh jumper here for eight pound, which is cute. In pink. And a blue one, different Lion King, but there's not tons of Disney guys, 
There's some t-shirts here. Friends festive one. There's a Tom and Jerry down there. Which is cool. That's really, there's not a lot. Christmas stuff. These are quite cute. Pound. It's We've got Santa bands, pair of ties, Christmas tree, pair of bands. What else have we got? Oh. And we've got Mickey Mouse bowls and beds. Some doggy stuff. Some doggy stuff. These are cute. Oh, just wait a minute. We've got minions, doggy costumes. Some um, print paper. Can't see any. Cute Dumbo here. I think he's got. Yeah, look, his cheeks light up. And he is thirteen pounds. Very cute. His Christmas hat. Got bars here. And Woody. <laughs> These are cute. £2.50. Oh, these Mickey baubles. It's a nice set there. I really quite like the paint your own money box. Hi guys, Princess Honeypot here. Uh, you would have just seen a, a little come shop with me. Um, I went to uh, Ikea in Bletchley today and then I went to the large Primark in Bletchley too. I must have got a right mess because it's been a long day. Uh, having a nice cup of tea in my beautiful Disneyland Paris mug. It's got all the characters on. This is one of my favourite mugs. Beautiful castle. Then I love Goofy here. Minnie, Mickey. Uh, what else is on here? Pluto, looking like a reindeer. <coughs> Bambi. Figaro. Daisy and Donald. Chippendale. Duffy. On there. Then we've got a Mickey wreath on the lamp post. It says Disneyland Paris inside and it does say Joya Noel at the bottom. I got this in Disneyland Paris two years ago. I think they're still available. 
I've got a little haul. So I've got one, two, three, six things from Ikea and I think it's five things from Primark. So it's not going to be a very long haul, but let's get started with Ikea. So first thing I picked up was this gorgeous glass. I think it's really <coughs> excuse me coughing guys it's really cool it's got like diamonds but I don't really know how to describe it but it kind of looks really strange you know like when you look in one of those weird mirrors in like a haunted house or something it's kind of like that so it makes your face like all distorted <laughs> but I just thought it was really cool this was £1.50 it says Ikea 2020 on the bottom isn't it so it must be brand spanking new, this one. But I really liked it. So that'll be for my, on Christmas day, for my apple ties or um, pineapple juice or something. Because that's what I usually have at Christmas. Um, next thing I got was um, some gingerbread birds. There's like a cockerel here and then there's like a, Kind of like a dove here. I absolutely adore gingerbread and gingerbread from Ikea. It's like really spicy but really nice. So yeah, got some gingerbread birdies. Yeah. Following on with the gingerbread theme. Um, I have got um, a gingerbread set which has got a reindeer a Christmas tree, a snowman, and Mr. and Mrs. Gingerbread. And I'm actually gonna decorate these. So it's really cool. Um, actually, yeah, I said the glass was 150. The gingerbread birds were 75 or 95p. This was two pound 95, which I'm really excited to paint. This one's got gingerbread house in the background. That several gingerbread street a major obsession with gingerbread this year guys um and then going along with the gingerbread i picked up a decoration kit so i'll be able to do i think you could get the icing and you get some sweets and stuff and some little i don't know what those are little white something or other i can't read what it says because it's all in swedish but but anyway, you'll see the pictures on Instagram <coughs> of what I do with it. This was uh, one pound thirty nine, no, one pound twenty nine. So that's that. Um, my mum, she went crazy today because we we like the baby dime bars, um, and you get them in IKEA, and they're like four ninety five a bag. So my mum bought two bags. And then she bought me a third, so we spent £15 on dime bars, but she bought me limited edition orange, and these were 4 95 Christmas bag with the snowflakes. You've got the orange because it's orange flavour. So I'm going to enjoy these. Obviously, I won't be eating loads at a time, but I absolutely love dime bar and 100% and anything chocolate orange I'm obsessed with. So yeah, like I said, 4 95 not cheap and the last thing i got in ikea <coughs> was some swedish fish now really um i've never had these before but i've had so many people recommend them to me um eleanor dreaming rich and luke rich 100 percent loves swedish fish so i thought i'd give them a go they were £1.95 for quite a big bag. You get 350 grams. And they've got a really long date. They last till um, September 21. So I've got a long time to eat them. It's quite a big bag. It's quite full. And as, as I say, yeah. So um, at some point, I'll let you know what they kind of taste like. But as you know, I haven't got taste buds as such. But... I can tell when something's sweet or savoury. Failing that, I'll ask my son to try one and then he can <laughs> tell me what they're like so I can tell you guys. And as I say, I think I said, but they're 195 a bag. So that was all I got in Ikea. Actually, I did get one more thing. Two seconds. I got a... Uh, 
one of the pound candles and I got a peach scent. Again, I won't know what it smells like. I used to be obsessed with the chocolate mocha and vanilla set you used to be able to buy. They didn't have that anymore. So I thought the peach one sounded really good. And mum, mum picked up. Let me have a look what she got. Mum got a one pound raspberry one as well. So and they're quite big. They they last if you leave them burning for quite a while like we do, two or three days. So they're not too bad. And it, yeah, look, here is all the dimes. <laughs> So we've got dimes coming out of our ears now. Dime, dime and dime. <clears throat> and um, the other thing my mum got was um, a tin of Shelter from the Winter Cold Ginger Thin Biscuits. These were 2 50 We've got a really pretty tin that got Christmas tree here. And I love how the silver goes in with the red and it looks really cool. We've got all the houses. And then here, you've got a little bear up here on top of a bridge. And you've got blocks of flats, big houses. That one looks like a gingerbread house. So, and then you've got a pretty house here. But yeah, and I like how the moon's on the top. So yeah, they were 2 50 Reduced from 350. I was back in my mum's um, bag because she bought them. And then I've got a few things from Primark, so I will show you. Check all this wet. Goes down there. There we go. Right. So I've got a big bag, but it's a bit misleading because I didn't buy loads. One of the new Christmas bags, which is instead of the white with the blue Primark writing, they're now like red and white, like candy canes, and the Primark's written in red. So, what did we get from Primark? Um, I wanted a um, snowflake fro. Um, I can't really show you the print, but. As you can see, it's got stars on it, and it's it's like large snowflakes. But oh, there you go, look. Um, and this was five pound. This is going to be something to do with my Instagram. So yeah, if you want to see that, thirty bluebell thirty. Follow me on Instagram. So yeah, that was five pounds. So it's just a small throw, but I mainly got it for my Instagram. But I will um, snuggle up in it because it is really really soft. Um, I don't know if you guys know how soft the Primark throws are. Like I normally buy the £6 Disney ones, but this is really, really soft. And a beautiful midnight blue colour as well. So, what else did I get? Um, I got a... These are new. Two microfiber cleansing mitts. Used with warm water to cleanse and remove makeup from your face. But I thought these were adorable. So you got Mickey, and this is like a Christmas set because it's got all snowflakes on. Uh, these were three pound fifty. So you got Mickey, which is really cool, and they've got like three D ears, and then Minnie with this gorgeous bow. So pretty snowflakes again, and kisses, <laughs> snowflake kisses, and I don't know what that one. Those are can't make that out, but I love her massive long eyelashes. That cute. So yeah, three pound fifty. I thought for two that was pretty good, so I'll let you know what they're like. Uh, what else get? <clears throat> I've got a large, really long black bow. I do like to put long things in my hair. Um, I thought it was cute, the black one, because it'll go with everything. And I thought it was, it was with the Christmas stuff. Although I don't think I, you can probably, of course, you could wear this all year round. But I love when um, like long bows and stuff hang down the back of my neck and stuff. So I really like that. And that was only £2.50. So I thought that was adorable. And it's got like a big clip on the back. But yeah, I do love my hair bows and stuff like that. So yeah, £2.50. 
Um, also got a set of the one pound um, 30 Disney Christmas tags, which is really cool. So you can see all the designs there. Very cute. I'll zoom in on them for you. You've got, um, you've got Mickey and Minnie sledging. And you've got the one um, with the Christmas tree on the back. This is the same range that they've got in Georgie and Asda. They do a duvet set of this and I think a cushion. Then you've got this one, which is fairly plain, but as you can see, it's tartan and it's got a gold Mickey head. If you can make it out. Then you've got Mickey and it says Merry Christmas and he's wearing a scarf. And then down here you've got can't read what that one says. Christmas wishes with four little Mickeys. They're like baubles. Then you've got Mickey here with um, a candy cane and mistletoe, just his head. Then Mickey and Minnie ice skating, which is really cute. And there's um, lots of like um, foliage around it and it says Noel on it there in gold. And the last one is Mickey on his own with the same four like baubles that are on the Christmas Wishes one over here. Um, and these were a pound for 30, which I thought was pretty good. So, yeah, you guys are going to be um, anyone that gets Christmas presents. You'll be seeing more of these. So I can't believe they were a pound as well. I think that's really good. Um, that's good idea. I've got a set of um, Christmas style scrunchies. So you've got a red one with pretty little, um, it's got like, I don't know, they're kind of like sequins, but like shiny. So you can just see them all over there. And then I've got a one that's like tinsel, that's got these really pretty silver stars on, like that. So you can see all the silver stars. You see that? They were, and then I've got the same like in the red, but it's green with the little um, sparkly sequins, the same. And these were a free pack for two pound, which I thought was pretty good. And it's again, it's got the same red and white stripy candy cane style as the bags. And yeah, two pound, and it says multi. That's not bad, is it? <laughs> so. And then along the lines of the um, hairbands, I picked up this really soft, fluffy reindeer one, which jingles. It's got little tiny red and gold bells. Is it red and gold? Red, red gold and silver bells. That makes me think of the song. <laughs> I'm not going to sing it. Red bell. And you've got a silver bell and a gold bell and then another red. So very cute. And then it's got these gorgeous glittery <laughs> antlers. So you're like a little reindeer. And I thought for £1.50, it says, uh, tis the season, scrunchy, £1.50. And it's so soft. You can probably make out how soft it is on the camera. Yeah, £1.50, bargain. And the last thing I got... the bag out the way and I was this very oh goodness me dropped it guys um it's a a hoodie it's a night shirt hoodie it's really really long as you can see with this little and it's actually a Winnie the Pooh Christmas one so you can see in there, looking all cute. Anyone that knows me knows how much I love Winnie the Pooh. He's got his uh, Christmas t-shirt on. And it says, oh, there's also Holly down here with gold berries. It says, is the season, tis the season to overindulge Disney Winnie the Pooh. I thought that was absolutely adorable. So I got that. Long sleeves. And they're like really soft. This is really, really soft. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of like velour. So pretty. And then the hood 
it's got like it's velour on the outside and it's like a sweatshirt material inside with like a um a flecky type material and i got this in an extra small because it's absolutely massive as you can see and it was i can't remember <laughs> ah. it was you've got this gorgeous cute winnie the pooh tag which i've shown you before i do keep these tags and it was so yeah extra small red 12 pounds and that guys is my haul so not a massive haul but big enough <laughs> my poor bank balance what's it gonna be like guys just keep going out and spending money when I shouldn't. Um, let me know in the comments. Let me know what your favourite Christmas carol or Christmas song is. Also, um, if anyone came up with a name for my little um, Christmas gnome gonk that I said about in yesterday's video. Anyone's come up with a name yet? I'm waiting for some suggestions. I've had one. At the moment, his name's going to be Bob, because that's what Matt wants me to call him. I don't know. So, see if anyone else can come up with anything else. Otherwise, it's going to be Bob. Um, but yeah, so that's fun. Um, I'm going to go and probably have another cup of tea and chill out, because I'm absolutely shattered. And as always, I love talking to you guys. And I will have a, the Christmas haul should be being filmed Friday. So it will go up Friday. Um, and then my house tour will follow um, one day next week. I haven't decided what day yet. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing anything else. But as I say, I'm trying to do as many festive videos as I can for you. Because um, I'm not doing Vlogmas as such. But. I wanted to make sure that I was doing quite a few festive things for you. So obviously I don't go out loads and loads because of how unwell I am, but I um, I still go out as much as I can. Um, obviously uh, I wear a mask or I've got, a, I wear a lanyard <coughs> which says that I'm exempt from wearing a mask because sometimes when I wear the mask, um, I struggle breathing more than because it, it kind of blocks my airway and because my lungs don't work properly that's not really a good idea but so I do try and wear the mask sometimes I did wear it around Ikea um, and I did wear it around some of Primark but I did have to take it off because I couldn't breathe for a while um, but yeah let's hope all this coronavirus stuff's over and done with soon guys um, but yeah, as always, um, you can send me any messages you like and I'll answer any questions that you want me to. Um, I'll actually tell you guys, I've hit um, over 400 followers on my Instagram now. So that was quite exciting to do that. <laughs> but yeah, so um, actually while I'm here, I've got my new Olaf lounge fly and I thought I might just show you. So you can see his little arms. <laughs> So I used him for the first time today. And he's like got black and gold lounge fly. And his lining is um, lots of little Olafs dancing. I just thought I'd show you that one while it was in front of me. So yeah, I'm gonna stop waffling now. And I will see you all tomorrow for Advent Calendar Day 10. Bye.